There are some Linux distributions that put so much effort into one specific aspect of their experience and take such a great amount of care to craft it to perfection, to create their ideal vision of the perfect user experience. And a prime example of that is Deepin, a distribution that is truly stunning to look at with gorgeous theming of all of its menus and panels and custom designed applications that provide a beautifully clean experience. But with such a focus on this beautifully curated experience, Deepin is also a distro that seemingly forgets, or at least doesn't care, that the rest of the Linux world exists. And that causes some significant issues. As you may have picked up from the intro, Deepin23 continues the trend of bringing absolute beauty to the Linux desktop. From the blurred translucency of its menus to the sleekness of the dock, or panel, depending which mode you have it set to, the desktop interface is incredibly sleek and modern, and looks truly beautiful second to none. And while it isn't the most customizable desktop around, Deepin does at least provide ample options for tweaking the color scheme, icons, and cursor, along with of course being able to choose between the fashion dock mode or the efficient panel. And speaking of the dock or panel, it has a considerable amount of functionality. Out of the box, it shows pinned and opened apps along with the typical status indicators as you'd expect, but you can customize exactly which ones to show, and even add a few interesting ones, such as a system monitor overlay or a screen capture shortcut like I'm adding here. And Deepin comes with many custom designed applications that perfectly fit this aesthetic. Pretty much all of the core apps have a beautiful and cohesive design. Looking at a few examples here, such as the file manager, music and video players, the system monitor, and control center, they, along with most of the inbuilt utilities, share this clean interface design that is simple to navigate and looks cohesive with the rest of the desktop. Now simple really is the name of the game here. Many of these inbuilt apps aren't exactly packed with features, often including just the essentials, but if that's all you need, then they provide an incredibly pleasing visual experience that I think is hard to beat. Another interesting aspect of Deepin is its App Store, which unfortunately doesn't respect the dark theme, but more on that later. Now, the App Store is crafted beautifully, like the other apps, but it quickly becomes apparent that you may not be spending much time in here, as the majority of apps are ones targeted towards the Chinese market where Deepin is developed. For those of us in Western societies, you'll find a few familiar names in here, like LibreOffice, Gparted, and Spotify, but most of the applications that you know and love are absent from here and that includes the GNOME software app, so you'll have to resort to the command line to get that if you want graphical access to a more complete selection of apps. Never mind that there's no native support for flatbacks, you'll have to add that. Or you could just install most of your software packages through the terminal anyways, because most of the software from the Debian repositories seems to be here. They're just not visible through the inbuilt app store. By the way, what's with the green terminal font? Don't get me wrong, it looks kind of cool, but it's so random compared to the rest of the theme. And speaking of theming, as I alluded to earlier, this steadfast focus on creating the perfect out-of-box experience does come at a cost. While most of the built-in apps do look great, there seems to be very little consideration given to anything that wasn't developed by Deepin for Deepin. Some standard GTK applications, think your modern GNOME apps, do have a corresponding system theme that doesn't perfectly match the Deepin apps, but it's close enough to not look so out of place. Some cute apps respect similar theming, while others seem not to at all. But in either case, many of these apps are left with gaudy title bars that don't fit the aesthetic or even the right light or dark setting, and look absolutely horrendous. It's a shame too, because most of the included Deepin apps actually have similar design elements to modern GNOME apps, so if the theming were made to look complete and consistent, most current GTK apps would fit in really well with the custom Deepin ones. But instead, you're left with anything from inconsistent to downright ugly anytime you open a non-Deepin app. 
And to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what happens during the development process here, because even some of Deepin's own apps don't follow the light or dark mode setting. Numerous apps, including the App Store and Deepin Home, which is sort of like a welcome hub, have no dark theme whatsoever, at least that I can find, and are completely blinding in contrast to the other applications. For a distro that puts such extensive work into creating a visually appealing experience, these seem like either glaring oversights or a complete disregard for anything outside of the core Deepin apps, of which some of them aren't even cohesive with each other. Deepin has so much promise in the visual department, and if your day-to-day -day computer use mainly consists of tasks in a web browser, managing files, playing media, or using the terminal, anything where you can work completely within the inbuilt Deepin apps, then Deepin might be a really nice experience for you. These apps are some of the cleanest looking around and complement the aesthetic of the overall system really well. But the minute that you have to step outside of these curated apps, the beautiful experience falls apart, turning into quite the opposite. The graphical app store doesn't provide much for users outside of China, and lack of any universal packaging support outside of their own new one called Linglong, again with no adoption by mainstay apps in the West, means getting third-party apps isn't as straightforward as it could otherwise be. There are alternatives, if you want the looks of the Deepin desktop though. Ubuntu DDE Remix provides the Deepin desktop environment on top of a more standard base, which does help solve the issue of poor app selection, but they can only do so much with the desktop environment, and development on new versions of the distro does seem to be pretty slow, so I'm not sure how viable an alternative like this really is. Still, this or another distro that offers the Deepin desktop environment might be worth a look if you're dying to have the beauty of the Deepin desktop grace a computer screen near you. If you found this useful, then a like is greatly appreciated. Subscribing and marking the notification bell ensures you don't miss new content. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Planet Linux. Wow, a distro developed in China, having apps predominantly from China, and it's for users in China? Huh, imagine that.